James H. Fritaco was born in Chicago, Illinois on August 1, 1908. He was the son of parents who immigrated into the United States from Yugoslavia in 1904 and grew up in a predominantly Czechoslovakian neighborhood in Chicago. James was the oldest of three children and dropped out of grammar school in order to support his mother, Barbara, raise his sister, Olga, and his younger brother, Charles, when his father died. As a member of the 326th Airborne Medical Company, James was part of the D-Day in Normandy campaign and entered Normandy via glider and supported the division um, in their campaign throughout northern France. On September 17, 1944, James entered Holland by glider and supported the 101st Air Assault on two German Panzer divisions and helped liberate several Dutch towns from German control. During the early part of the defense of Bastogne, a German force attacked the hospital James was working at and everyone in the medical unit was taken prisoner. James was taken to the Gerolstein Prisons Camp where he experienced horrible conditions and contracted bronchial pneumonia. Because he was sick, he was transferred to another prison camp in Nettersheim, Germany, where he died of heart failure hours after his arrival on January 22, 1945. James Vertaco had a very unusual war experience that required an incredible amount of courage not only to be part of major battles in the European theater, but to face death and destruction on such a consistent basis. As a medic, he was always running to help others who were wounded, not soldiering on to advance mission objectives. When James heard the cry, medic, he knew he was heading into the destruction of people and never knew what he was going to come across at any given moment. James constantly put others before himself so that they could receive medical treatment and live full lives. He should be remembered as a man who truly sacrificed himself so that others may live. I want to leave with James this 101st Airborne Challenge coin and I'm going to carry one with me to always remind myself to put others ahead of myself. Thank you.